Smith 5 coming at you here with another fun, techy, interactive storybook. Today we are reading book one, Abigail and the Balance Beam. And this book comes with this cute little stuffed animal as well. And this is from Hallmark. So you're going to hit the button to turn it on. I'm ready for you to read me my story. <laughs> and then we're going to read the book and see what happens. If ever there was a little girl who couldn't wait to grow up, it was Abigail. Every night before she went to sleep, she would mark another day off the calendar. Every morning, she would check to see if she'd grown taller. I just know it will happen soon, Abigail would say to herself. But even if she wasn't there yet, Abigail loved doing grown-up things. One of Abigail's favorite activities was gymnastics. She loved the costumes and the competition. Abigail would practice over and over to get every step perfect. Today was the last practice before the final meet of the season, and Abigail worked as hard as she could. As she practiced, Abigail could hear her mom calling from the stands. Abigail, you're doing a great job! Some days, though, things didn't go quite the way she wanted them to. Abigail whisked through all of her routines, but when she got to the balance beam, she fell off every time. First she weaved, then she wobbled, then, as she might, she just couldn't make it to the end. Abigail wondered if she could ever do it. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Abigail was very quiet leaving the arena. She was thinking hard about her balance beam routine. I'm so proud of you, Abigail, her mom said. You're going to have so much fun on Saturday. Thinking about fun made Abigail smile. Thank you, thank you. Abigail always felt better after talking with her mom. I love my mom. I say it. I asked her mom. Yeah, finally the big day arrived. Abigail put on the pink le leotard her mom had made just for this day. Looking in the mirror, Abigail thought she looked just like the gymnast on TV. She practiced putting one foot in front of the other like she needed to do on the balance beam. I can do this, she thought. Abigail was very, very excited. Mm, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> At the arena, the whole place buzzed with anticipation. The people in the stands waved and clapped as the gymnast warmed up before the meet. Abigail could barely contain her excitement as she stretched. This is so grown up, Abigail thought and smiled. Abigail loved doing grown up things. <laughs> I feel like a lady. <laughs> as Abigail hopped onto the trampoline for her first event, she couldn't help worrying about her balance beam routine. She was thinking about it even as she bounced and twirled and dared to do the Hungarian belly flop twice. An unusual move, said the judge, and we'd like it. Abigail couldn't help but smile. <laughs> when it was time for the floor routine, Abigail really put on a show. No one ever had thought to use hip hop as a music choice. Abigail almost forgot about the balance beam when her slip and slide and popping and locking brought the crowd to its feet. She could hear people yelling, Abigail, you're doing a great job. Abigail, you're doing a great job. She doesn't like that one. Next, Abigail twirled on the uneven bars. She flew through her routine. It was amazing to see Abigail hook her little feet around the bar and spin one more time before a perfect dismount. The crowd went wild. But now, Abigail was thinking so hard about the balance beam, she barely noticed. She couldn't stop thinking about falling off. Abigail wondered if she could ever do it. Practice makes perfect. She jumped onto the narrow beam and balanced. 
One step, one jump, one handstand, and then it happened. She wobbled, but this time she didn't fall. She made it all the way to the end and stuck her landing. Abigail's teammates gave her a high five. Coach patted her on the back and said, Abigail, you're doing a great job. I'm trying my very best. Let's see how I did. I work that time. Abigail sat with her mom and waited for the award ceremony. I'm so proud of you, Abigail, said her mom. But I wobbled, worried Abigail. I bet if I were older, it would have been perfect. Being grown up isn't about doing things perfectly, said Abigail's mom. It's about doing the best you can, and that's exactly what you did, Abigail. Smiled. Abigail always felt better after talking with her mom. <laughs> My mom is the best. She thinks her mom's the best, too. May I have your attention, please, blared the announcer over the loudspeaker. The award for most points earned across all guests goes to Abigail. Abigail, please come forward now to accept yes, your prize. Abigail won the biggest prize of all. Wow, I did it. Woohoo! Come on, here. <laughs> Abigail hugged her mom and then ran to the podium. This was the most exciting day of her life, and she wasn't even grown up yet. As the judge yeah. placed the medal around her neck, Abigail beamed with delight. What a great day. Okay. The end. Yeah, did you guys like that? Yeah. That was so cool listening to her talk, huh? Do you want to tell our fans thanks for listening? Thanks for listening. And what else should we tell them to do? Mommy, I'm Big five! Ow!